Hello, in this video, I'll teach you how to use a while loop in Java. So in last video, we saw how to use a for loop. So just let me write it over here. We had for the keyword, then we had the initiation part, the condition part, the updation part, and then we had the body. So this is initialization. This is condition. This was updation. So the order of execution was first the initialization takes place then the condition was checked once the condition is true we go inside the body and execute whatever is inside the body then we come to the updation part and we update the variable once the updation is done we again check if it falls under the condition if it is true again we come inside the body if it becomes false we come outside of the for loop and hence our loop ends over here and then we will execute whatever is after the for loop so the same thing we are going to use it for while so the keyword is while we have opening and closing brackets so this initialization part where we are going to put it is we are going to put it before while so we are going to initialize over here. So this is the initialization part. So where is the condition in while the condition will come over here. So this is condition. Now we have the body. So inside this body, we are going to have this updation part. We can have it any, we can have it in any line of the program so let's say we have three lines we can have the updation in any of the line so let me give an example so i'll say uh, we have to print hello for 10 times okay so what i am going to do is i'm going to initialize a variable i'm going to call int i equal to one okay the initialization is done what is the condition of the loop since we have to print it 10 times i am going to tell while i is less than or equal to 10 we have to go inside the loop okay this condition basically means if this is true you go inside the body of the while loop okay so inside this what we are going to do is you have to print hello right so i am going to use So I'm going to print hello here and then we need to do an updation. So what is the updation we need? We need I plus plus. Okay. So now let's execute the code. First the initialization will happen. So now we'll have a variable called I equal to one. Now this is the thing which executes first. Secondly, what executes? This condition is checked. So this is the second one. So this condition is checked and I, since it is one, it is less than or equal to 10. So the condition is passed. Hence it will go inside the body of the while loop. What is the inside the body of the while loop? It is going to print hello. Okay. After printing, it is telling I plus plus. So I has been updated and now it is two. Now from this updation, it will come and check the condition. So now two, since it is less than or equal to 10, again, the condition is passed and it will come inside the body. It is going to print hello. Again, it is going to update. This will become three. It will check, it is true, it will print. Okay, this will keep on going for 10 times. In the 10th time, I will be 10, it will print it will come over here i plus plus i will become 11 it will go to the condition checking part since 11 is less than or equal to 10 this condition will fail and hence we are going to come out of the while loop and hence we have printed hello for 10 times so this is how we use a while loop if you understood for loop it is very easy to transition into while loop. 
I hope you learned something from this video. Please leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you.